welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your pencil skirts with your side slits okay your side pleats pencil skirts with your side pleats so if you want me to make the gown version of this tutorial please comment below and i'm going to do just that so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this your waist measurements hip and your skirt length now don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram to designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so our waist is 30 30 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 our hip is 38 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11.5 inches our skirt length is 22 22 plus 2 inches we have 24 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your pencil skirts with side pleats so if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any video you want us to make okay trainings are available both online training and physical training and don't forget to Join us on Facebook and on Instagram and also visit our website. So guys, now we want to achieve our pencil skirts with side splits. So I'm making use of this African print in order for us to achieve this. And then I have my African print. I will go ahead now and fold my fabric into two. Into four rather. Fold my fabric into four and this is what we have. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our basic measurements. So our waist to hip, we have 9 inches. Waist to hip, 9 inches. Waist to knee length, I have 18 inches. I'll go ahead now and connect my lines together. So once I'm done, I'll go ahead now and mark my dart measurement. We'll go ahead and mark our dart measurement, which is 4 inches so this is our dart line four inches i'm going to show you guys the reason why we had to mark our dart line the essence of marking your dart line is that it will enable you to know where to cut out for your side pleats so once we've indicated where we have our dart line we'll go ahead and mark our waist measurement which is 9.5 and then we'll mark our hip measurement Mark our hip measurement. Now on the knee length, we'll go ahead and deduct two inches or one and a half inches from your hip line. And the number of inches you deduct totally depends on how pencil you want it to be. So I'm basically going to go ahead and deduct one and a half inches. So I'll mark 9.5. I'll go ahead now and mark 9.5. So I'll connect what I have now to my hip and then my hip to my waistline this is basically what we are going to have just like your basic pencil skirt so i'll go ahead now and cut this out and after cutting this out i will show you guys how to get your overlapping at the side so after cutting it out this is what we have you can see our pencil effect so now go ahead now and this is where we have our darts so go ahead and just mark it all the way across your fabric okay just indicate where you have your dart line so we'll go ahead now and open this up so by the time you open this up this is our front block this is where you have one dart line and this is where you have the second dart line right now you go ahead and determine how high you want it to be how high do you want to have your overlapping or your pleats and how I totally depends on you, right? Totally depends on you. So I will go ahead now, and this is my knee length. This is where we have our knee length, and this is our hip line. So I'm just going to go ahead and allow it to get somewhere around this part. Note that it depends on where you want it to get up to. You can take yours higher, or you can bring it down. It depends on what you want. So I have 14 inches. Okay, I'm going to make use of 13 inches, right? 
So I'll mark 13 inches this way. I'll also mark my 13 inches at this point. Now this is your dart line. This is our dart line. This is the inches we mark. So guys, now this is our dart line. This is our dart line. Just go ahead and extend your dart line to where you have your skirt length, okay? So this dart line will just enable you to know where to cut out for your pleats. Okay, I hope you guys can see it. That line, just go ahead and connect your that line all the way to your skirt length. And you also do the same for the other piece. So once you are done, we've also marked this is where we want our pleats to start, okay? So you basically just go ahead now and connect this, your that line, to wherever you want it to get up to. So in order for us to do that, this is what you have. Just connect it like a round shape at this edge. So this is what we have, you can see. And so for this other part also, you just go ahead now and you connect what you have on your dart line to wherever you want it to start up to. Connect what you have on your dart line to wherever you want your pleats to start. So this is basically what we are going to have. So we just go ahead now and cut this out. This is basically what you are going to have. So you can see that we've cut out where we are going to pleat on. So you go ahead now and place this on your back block and then you also cut it out. This is the back block now. You have two pieces for your back block. You also do the same. You extend what you have for your dart, your dart line. You go ahead and extend it all the way down. Once you extend it all the way, you go ahead and mark what you used for your front block to determine where you want to have your pleats. So this is where we marked for the front block to have your pleats. So once you are done now, you just go ahead basically and take your dart line all the way this way to give you a curve at this part. So you can see what we have. So you just go ahead now and connect it this way. So just go ahead now and connect it this way. Curve it. So once you are done now, you go ahead now and cut it out for the second piece. So guys, now we've cut it out and this is what we have. So the next thing we are going to do now is to get our pleats in because we are going to attach our pleats at this side and also at this side, right? Now, what I have here is just a very straight fabric, which by length, the length of this fabric is 30 inches and I have four pieces. So I have two pieces here and I also have two pieces here. Now, the reason why we have four pieces is because for this front block now, for this front block, the reason why we have four pieces is for this front block you have one, so, and for the back block side, this is our back block, we also need three for this part and also for the other side, for the other side of our back block, that is four pieces. So, you can see that we have one pieces at this part, two, three and four, right? So, we are going to cut out four pieces. So, we'll go ahead now and set this aside. So, for the length of this fabric, for the length of my fabric, I have 30 inches for the length. You can increase yours. It really depends on how you want to basically gather it up. So, you can increase yours so that you have like a full pleat. And why for the wideness of it, I have 10 inches for the wideness. And the reason why you are going to have so much for the wideness is... is your front block by the time you pleat on this part where you have your curve your pleating must be able to get to this part right your pleating must be able to get to this part so that you can have your complete skirt so by the time you go ahead now and attach your pleating to this part and then it falls this way you can see that what we have will also give us our complete skirt at this part so once i'm done pleating it i'll show you guys what it looks now we've gone ahead now to pleat on the side you can see what we have you can see the ruffle 
at the side and for the other side also you can see the ruffle so for the back block we've gone ahead to couple it together to give us a single piece and for the front block let me show you guys what the front block looks like so you can see what we have for the front block. You can see the ruffle and then you can see the pleats at the other side. So you can also decide that you want to make use of a different fabric for your pleats and you're going to have like a very good um, skirt. So you discover the way we mixed it. You can see that these two sides are like plain fabric. Of course, it's, a, it's the same fabric, but I made use of the plain parts for this side and for the middle parts, we have our basic um side so once we've gone ahead also this is our back block we've gone ahead also to pleat the sides we've also pleat the side and then we've coupled it up to give us a single piece so the next thing you're basically going to do now is to place your front block and your back block on each other this way place your front block and your back block together make use of your waist measurements and your hip measurements to couple this up so you're so guys, this is basically what it looks like. We've gone ahead now to pleat this, we've coupled this up, and this is what it looks like. So another thing you should also take note of is that when you want to cut out your shape, where you have your pleating, note that this part is going to be opened. So you can decide that you want to take it lower so that you don't expose too much, or you can take it higher if you want to expose so much on the side so it depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day and this is basically what it looks like so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on and then i'll see you guys in my next one bye